to you, my Lord, will I direct my desire. My God, in you I place my trust. Let me not be ashamed for having trusted. Let not my enemies exalt themselves over me. Indeed, all who eagerly look for you and place their hope in you will not be ashamed. But those who treacherously depart from you are empty-handed and will be. My Lord, make the conduct you require known to me. Teach me the ways you prefer. Cause me to walk in your faithfulness, in your truth, and teach me, for you are the God of my deliverance. Longingly do I wait for you all day long. My Lord, remember your mercy and kindness, for they are from the oldest of days. Remember not the sins of my youth or my wrongdoing, but remember me according to your graciousness, on account of your goodness, my Lord, not mine. My Lord is good and just. Therefore, He will instruct sinners in the way. He causes those who worship Him to walk in sound judgment. And those, the humble, He teaches His way. All the ways of the Lord are of kindness and dependability to those who respect and observe His covenant, His contractual obligations. My Lord, for the sake of Your name, on account of who You are, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is this, this man who reveres the Lord? He is the one the Lord will instruct in the way he is to choose. He himself is the one who will rest in the prosperity of goodness, and his descendants will inherit the earth. The secret conversations of a friend belong to those who revere the Lord, and the Lord makes this alliance of friendship known. My eyes are continuously fixed upon my Lord, for it is He who will remove my feet from the net, even from one in which I have ensnared myself. Please, my Lord, turn your attention towards me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and in need. The anxieties of my heart are extensive. Lead me out of all my distress. Look with sympathy on my misery and my trouble, and take away all my sins. Look and see how numerous are those hostile to me, 
and how they hate me, with an unjust and violent hatred. Preserve my life and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed for having sought refuge in you. Integrity of heart and uprightness of conduct will keep watch over me because my hope is in you. And God, redeem Israel from all her need and her sources of distress.